everyone and welcome to this video about the 10 books that I would take with me if I was stuck on a desert island. I was nominated by the lovely Sammy from Colour and Chat with Sammy. So it was a tough choice, there were many books um, and I finally narrowed it down to 10. So um, the first book I've got here is a new book actually but I have been wanting it for some time. It's The Magical Journey by L Mary Lizzie Mary Cullen. Let's zoom in a little bit. So, um, I really like this book because it's a bit more of a personal one from Lizzie because it's her and her dog's adventures in a colouring book. And as I'd be on an island and I might be stuck there for some time, I'd probably want to go travelling the world. <laughs> so, I really like the line arts and, and um, like her sort of whimsical sort of... I don't know, very strange abstract way of drawing buildings and things and I just think, you know, I could sit there, I could chill with my ink tents, walk down the pencils and colour this in on an island, so that's the first one. Second one I have is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford. Um, I really enjoy this one and because it's a story too, obviously, I enjoy reading it so I've done a few pictures in here already but it's just nice like I really like the pictures in this one and it's one of my favorites that she's done so I just don't think I could live without it <laughs> I would really want to get my teeth sunk into trying to finish it so I'd have to take this with me okay the next one I have is one I haven't really done a lot of pictures in but I love it it's this Korean co uh, fairy tales coloring book with handbox so um I just, I love the different, that fairy tales done in a different way, so they're done in, you know, like, Korean traditional dresses and stuff, and I just thought, you know, I could, I'd be on an island, right? <laughs> I would have plenty of time to sit and colour some of these beautiful detailed images, so, because I've been dying to do some, I've just been too scared to go in, and here is one I started and didn't finish, <laughs> which I'll move over there. One that I started and haven't finished yet. So, um, yeah. I'd really want to do this one, and that's the one coloured picture that I've done in there. There's that one. Okay. Um, next, now, everybody has basically picked this one, but for good reason. I love this book by uh, Kirby, Myth and Morphia. I love mythological beasts. Um, or, you know, I just love the beasts. I love the, like, listening to mythological, um, or reading mythological uh, stories and things. So I would, I would have to take this with me because it would keep me entertained with the myth. So, you know, I just have to take this one with me. And I've done a few pictures in here, as you can see already. So it's already in a beloved book. Unfortunately, most of them are not showing <laughs> because I'm the flip. Um, next, I'd have to take Enchanted Forest because if I kind of when on this beach, like say tomorrow, on this desert island tomorrow, I need to finish this book by the end of this year, so I'd have to take this one with me, it's because I need to finish it. But not only that, I actually do really like this book. This is my second ever colouring book, and I absolutely love the pictures in this one. So this is my other favourite Johanna Bassford one, and I just think that I could not be without it, so um, that is why I've chosen this one. And then I have Menuet de Bonheur, um, because, again, I love all the little details of the animals, they're really cute, and it's just a lovely book, and it would give me time to spend colouring it in, and I've done, like, a couple of pages and stuff, and, you know, I could do, practice doing a few more things and stuff with it, so I really want to take this one, and who doesn't want a Japanese book? Next, I'm going to take a Fabiana Atanasio one, I'll take Peter Pan, this is my first one, actually from her and is actually my favourite. I think there are more pictures in here that I like more than the other ones. Um, so there are more pictures in here I'd love to do. And as it is, generally, I know Neverland is a, not, is like, well, it's kind of not a desert island, but it's on an island, so you never know. What if I ended up on Neverland? I would wanna, you know, imagine myself being there. So, you know, it would help me t sort of use my imagination to spend my time by pretending I'm in Neverland, so let's have that one. Next I have Eerie's um, Trace Around the World 
because again I love to travel so I can't just have one traveling book I have to have two this has a lot more countries in than um, the one by Lizzie Mary Kelly and I have done a few pictures in there so there's a Japan but I would just love to color all of these in and pretend I've gone to visit and you know I could draw the line art in if I wanted to or just leave it as it is but I'd have to take this one with me next is another one by area I'd have to take a romantic country book with me now it's really hard to choose just one of them because I like all three and technically they're all about the same place so really you could see it as one big giant coloring book but I was good I chose one I chose the first one because this is just it just got me into it and I love lots of the pictures in here and I've done quite a few in here as well and I just thought I've got to take this one with me so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take this one enjoy pretending I'm in Cocot okay and then the last one I have is a book by Hannah Carlson I love most of her books it was a tough choice between daydreams and this one but I've chose this one purely because I like the potion bottles in this one a lot more and there aren't any potion bottles in her other ones well there are in seasons and I think the new one's got a few but the, this has lots more and this is the sort of thing that I like I like to do this sort of thing so like this one like look I'd want to be doing this I'd want to pretend that I'm you know I'm concocting some sort of potion or something I don't know I just like I just like it <laughs> So I thought I would have this one to take with me. So there we go, those are my 10 books that I would take on a desert island. I'm going to put the book back so you're not staring at a blank <laughs> bed cover. Um, so I'm not going to tag anyone because I'm sure most of them have already been tagged anyway. But if you would like to do this, um, and you have a YouTube, then feel free to do it on YouTube. If you don't have YouTube, please do this on Instagram. You can post them on Instagram either by pictures or a little video. Um, do whatever you'd like. Or you could listen below in the comments if you don't want to do any of that. And I really hope you enjoyed it and that you approved of my choices that I, I made. Um, and I would also hope, like KP said in hers, I'd also hope that my colouring pencil supplies would make it... I don't think I could choose between which, like, if I could only take one set of colouring pencils, I don't think I could choose. So I'm just going to assume that all there, they all made it to this magical desert, desert island. Um, so see you soon. Bye.